wonderful morning out there to you, my uh, beautiful watchers all over the world. This is reporter Raf, reporting live and direct from LeagueBlast.com, the most updated news footer. We are also the proud owners of League Blast TV, the most updated online TV. Today on Street Matters, we are with this course trending and vital issues concerning the society. We have come to Peace Mass Transit, located here at Enugu, Holy Ghost Chapter, to find out from the management of this transport company how the pandemic called coronavirus has actually affected this company, what, the expect what are the expectations from the government, and what message or messages they have for both the government, the passengers, and other transport companies. So join me as we bring you more interesting stories about this COVID-19. Don't forget, this is reporter Ra from LeagueBlast.com, the most updated news portal. And we are also the proud owners of League Blast TV, the most updated online team. So good morning, sir. Can we know you, sir? Good morning, reporter How are you? I'm fine, sir. I am Oti Bouchon by name, the manager of Christmas Transit Company in Enugu. Christmas Transit Enugu. Wow, wow. That's a very nice one. Daddy, um, I want to know the, the, this lockdown or the lifting of the ban on interstate movement, how has it actually affected your company, both the drivers and the number of uh, customers or passengers that patronize uh, your company? Well, um, my brother, the lockdown affected us so badly that we cannot even feed our families. As I'm talking to you here right now, my family are in trouble. In terms of uh, uh, coronavirus, it did not affect them. But the hungry virus is attacking them moreover. However, we thank God that the lockdown is locked up. More in terms of what we lost, we lost more than billions. We lost more than billions. But life is retained. What is the next question you asked me? Okay, um, you talked about uh, uh, hunger strike, uh, which is much more dangerous than coronavirus. I would like to hear. I would like to hear your view. What do you think the government of the day should do as this lockdown interstate movement has actually been? What are your expectations of the government of the day? Government should have done all their necessary um, um, as government. Perhaps they know we are existing. And during the lockdown, nobody cared about us. Not even a single soul, from president to governor, down to Local government, even what cancel us. No, it's, all, it's, it's unfair. The country. No. If I should beg God, if I can die and come back, I will beg God not to come to Nigeria. Honestly. However, today is early. Nibola, in the Nibola language, they said, if these people can recognize the citizens of the country, please let them hurry. Not that the lockdown is locked up. Only their efforts before the lockdown has exhausted and they have nothing to eat. Many boys, girls are now doing anything just to survive. Many people are dying. 
out of the situation. Please, the country should think, the leaders should think, whatever they want to give to these people, they must be sure that those things are given to them as arranged. Instead of giving it to one person and that person will go and dump it, eating it all, all alone. That is my view. Please, Nigerian government, come to the aid of your people. Please. Please. Thank you very much, um, Mr. John, for the audience. You have actually heard it all from Mr. John, the manager of Peace Mass Transit Company Limited. He actually said one thing that they they actually passed a lot through this uh, lockdown period. But one thing that he actually will not fail to thank God is that for the gift of life, he actually called on the government at various times to re-strategize their plans in the disbursement of the piloting. So the, to ensure the pattern of one man amassing or gathering what should be distributed to the general public. If these things are actually done, it will help to checkmate the rate of young boys and girls going into all kinds of you know illegal acts just to make ends meet. Don't forget this is reporter from LeagueBlast.com, the most updated news portal. And we're probably the proud owners of League Blast TV, the most updated online TV. Before we go, make sure you maintain social distancing, keep safe, always sanitize your hands. And with this, we are stone away to checkmating the scourge called coronavirus. Sir, so can we know you? Yes, my name is Sifan I'm a driver in Peace Masters. Wow, wow. As a driver of the, how has the nation lockdown that has been in operation affected your job as a driver? Well, it affected us mostly because we deal on interstate movements and you know the interstate has been recently called off. During the shutdown we have been idle doing nothing. So the shutdown was called off. So we just started uh, work of research. It affected us financially mostly. Yes. Okay, how do you ensure that your passengers actually comply to those rules given by the NCS? Well, uh, as you can see at the gate there, we have the requirement from the federal government, the hand washing rule and the sanitizers. Meanwhile, before we get our vehicles from the headquarters, the safety, our safety managers will call us to order and then give us the hand sanitizer and then three face masks for ourselves. And then while, after loading, we sanitize the hands of the passengers before we take off. So we have everything in place. Yes. Thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity. Okay, you have heard it from a driver from Peace Mass Transit. The lockdown actually affected their source of income because they majorly deal with interstate movement. But there is one thing he actually said about the precautionary measure. He said one thing that they adhere strictly to the rules actually given by the NCDC. And he said that when the buses are actually given to them, they are given sanitizers and various face masks. All these are measures that are put, put in place to make sure they are safe from the spot called coronavirus. Don't forget and don't forget, this is LeakBlast.com, the most updated news portal. And we're also the proud owners of LeakBlast TV, the most updated online TV. I'm your favorite reporter, Ralph. God bless you. I want to thank you guys all over the world. I am reporter Chupen Eka from LeakBlast.com. We are the most updated news portal. We are also the part owners of LeakBlast TV, the most updated online TV. Today on Street Matters, we are here to find out the effect, the effect, the effect of this coronavirus lockdown on the nationwide uh, interstate travel ban. So today we are meeting one of the passengers uh, at Peace Park Transport to tell us her views concerning this this effect of the lockdown. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Matt. Can I know your name? Good morning. My name is Debbie My name is Debbie Okay, what can you say? You how you feel? Can you tell us how you feel since this lockdown has been lifted? Well, since this lockdown, lockdown has been lifted, at least I feel better, a little bit. Well, because people have been suffering all this while, 
no movement, food items were on the higher side and people were suffering. So since the lockdown has been lifted, at least there is a little bit of peace from the people. Now that you are here, you are putting down, you are traveling to where? Okay, um, can you tell me, is there any hike in fees since this lockdown has been lifted and you are here to travel? Is it the normal fees or has there been any increase on the fence? And how do you feel about it? Well, it's better. Why? Well, because they, there is social distance on the bus. Before we used to sit four four our seats. Now we are sitting two our seats. So there is increment and we feel better. Why? Well, because we are relaxed, we feel relaxed and we um, Okay, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Um, is there any, any way, you know, any measure that you have taken, you know, to prevent yourself from contracting coronavirus, even as you travel outside the city? I have my um, user sanitizer as well as my bag. So whenever I'm going out, I'm going to, to prevent myself. Time to time, I will just use my hand sanitizer to. Mm. Okay, thank you, man. Finally, what what way or message do you have to pass across to the government of the day, like you know, concerning the increase in the size of the transport? The information or message I'm passing to the government is to help us to uh, you know, subside the trans uh, fare transportation so that people will be traveling like we have been here since 6 a.m. and the vehicle is supposed to carry nine passengers. Then we are still seven in the vehicle because of the increment of the fare. So people we are looking for where they will get a cheaper a uh, price then the now we, we are just going out you know, so if there is anything they can do to bring out bring down the fair okay, thank you very much man. what what that okay thank you this is we just heard from our people she's a passenger traveling to Abuja and she has been saying about lockdown the effect on her on the cost of price and the co and on the cost of interstate movement She's also appealing to the federal government to help passengers to, and help transport companies to stop decide the price of transport fares across the nation. This is where we call it a lap of today's street matters affairs. My name is reporter Chukwe Meka from Big Blast We are the most updated news and also uh, of Big Blast TV, the most updated online TV. Thank you very Beautiful viewers, we are back today. We are still, this is where we end our street matters. And today, we've visited a lot of the transport companies. And guess what? A lot of them have done a lot to sensitize people to be able to make sure that the spread of this virus is cushioned, both on the city setting and even try to sensitize the passengers before they leave to their various destinations. We've been able to grab a lot of things from the managers of these different transport companies. The federal government has been beckoned to please come to their aid to help them so that the transport uh, fare for this transport will not be high to the point that the passengers will not be able to afford it. I'd like to appreciate a lot of people who have been on this journey to make this journey a successful one and to bring this news live to you. My senior reporter, reporter Ralph, who has made sure that these things have been put in place so that we we'll bring this news very well to you. The press crew who has always been here to make Make sure that we bring this news to you. My colleague, Reporter Chukwe Meka, who has always worked with me hand in hand to make sure this news is live to you. This one, don't forget, this is LeagueBlast.com, the most updated news portal. Proud owners of LeagueBlast TV, the most updated online TV. I am Reporter Chukwe Thank you very much for